The Burger King here in Chicago, just north of Wrigleyville, has a Texas Double Whopper on the menu. It's the number two. I hear there's a new Whopper in town. Texas Whopper from Burger King, the new Whopper in town. So today, we're gonna try it out. We've seen it for months now. Let's go see what it's all about. Come with us, Sixers. That's two Texas Double Whoppers from Burger King. Yeah, you heard that right. Acquired Jump Cut! All right, so from what we understand, this is not available everywhere by any means. And this random Burger King on the north side of Chicago has it. We've seen it on the menu for the last few times we've traveled through. So today at Corey Wagner's second angle. First off, this is possibly the biggest burger I've ever come across. It's so big. This is massive. Let's see what we got under here. So you got your regular uh, bun with the seeds and whatnot. Tomatoes, uh-oh, let's make internet people cry. You should have just said no tomatoes. You should have just said no tomatoes. <laughs> All right, and then we've got lettuce and mayonnaise under the bun. Then we've got some onions. We've got some pickled jalapenos, looks like some mustard, some bacon, and then melted cheese. The cheese is actually melted. And then uh, two Whopper patties. Oh baby, that looks good. It looks pretty good, and it is freaking massive. Yeah, this is no joke. I think I looked up, I think this thing is a thousand calories. Sweet. Look away, look away. Who? Mmm. All right guys, Texas Double Whopper from Burger King. Cheers. Cheers. I got a jalapeno right away. Good spice on good. it. Good? Mm-hmm. I only got burger first bite, but. Well, this is well actually, there's a little spice there. Oh, I did get a little jalapeno. So I wonder what makes that location keep that on the menu. You know, right? The mysteries of fast food corporate decisions. You know, I googled it. I went back to 2006. They had this. I don't know if they've modified it. I saw some variations. Instead of the mustard and ketchup, they just put barbecue sauce. On some I, of them. I was really surprised that a Texas Whopper wouldn't have barbecue sauce. True. True. Dude, this is so good. I'm just getting out of. The big grouping, the jalapenos. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's pickles on it too. You I don't like them. You don't mind them for this? No, I don't mind it for this. They, pickles and jalapenos are good. Looking real nice. I'm glad we finally did this. We had Corey saw it, and I'm still convinced my dad used to get the Texas Whopper. I'm, the guy never remembers. I wasn't going to bring it up. I saw it. I tried to convince if him to do it. I was like, dude, we should do this burger and sugars. No, no, no. That's a regular item. My dad had I go, I go. That's not a regular item. There's no way. Oh no no no! My dad gets that's his, that's like my, my dad gets that all the time. So his dad comes in town and I ask his dad because we went to Burger King. Right. I'm like, do you know what? You're actually I brought it up and, and Sean goes, Dad, it is not that one of your favorite items. I've never heard of it. No, he's so instantly funny, he goes, never heard of it. Because he forgets like what he likes from fast food places. He loves Burger King, it's his favorite fast food place. He used to always talk about the Texas Rodeo Burger and the Texas Whopper. I remember it like it was yesterday. He just has a terrible memory. He's 63. There's no world. Mm -hmm. That's the only time I've ever seen that sandwich in my entire existence of being a I'm Burger telling King you, dude, fanboy. In Michigan, he used to get it. I he grew up with him. I asked him to his face. He doesn't know. No, he said no. Mr. Campbell, who cares? Wow. I don't think I've had a double in a long time from Burger King. Yeah. Like the double beef is so pleasurable. It's so massive. It's a really good burger. The jalapenos just come together with the bacon and the onion really, really, really well. It was made well, that tasted good. The bun isn't getting like disintegrated from everything going on. It right. holds its holds its own. I'll tell you what, having a pickle and a jalapeno laying on top of each other, that's a good flavor combination. I did not I was not aware that I would be that into that. Welcome to Flavor Town. So two of those was 13 bucks. Yeah, which is kind of a crazy price for how massive those are. I know, 650 a, a burger ain't bad. That's like a pretty standard price for, for, and usually the specialty burgers are a little bit bigger, but that is massive. Comment below if your Burger King has the Texas Double Whopper or the Texas Whopper, and if you've ever had it. Love to know if how far this thing is really stretched. And if you don't remember having it, you probably have had it. <laughs> Just comment below that I've probably had it. My dad's the only person that I would ever be able to say, trust me dad, I know what you had. Nah, dude. 
All right, before we rate that burger, let's do some shout outs. Let's do it. Shirt shout out, shirt shout out, shirt shout out. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, people that bought shirts, koozies, stickers, sunglasses off the website. We're gonna go ahead and reference the next up program. People that bought more than one item. Who is name number one? Shirt shout out number one goes to Shay Moore. Thanks, Shay. Thank you, Shay. She got a sure I'll have a drink shirt and a blue koozie. Hell yeah. That's a great combo. Hell That's yeah. A Excellent, excellent combo. And shirt shout out, kind of a merch shout out number two, Kathy Curtis. Woo! Blue koozie, white koozie, got both koozies. You're my koozie. Koozied up. Koozied up. Thank you guys, number six with cheese.com. Get yourself some items, support the show, do and we'll love you. Do it, do it, do it. All right, let's do this. Out of five, George W. Bush heads. How many George W. Bush heads do you give the Texas double whopper from Burger King? Uptown, Chicago, Illinois, Corey. All right, so let's uh, let me think about this. That's uh, you guys know I'm a big fan of innovation. That wasn't a very innovative burger, um, but it did a lot of things right. It did the jalapenos I love, onions I love, uh, bacon I love. It was massive. Um, the fact that it was, it's only allowed in, or they only sell it at one location in the whole universe, um, brightens my day so much, you know? And the fact that it gave me opportunity to tell Sean that he was wrong and I was right. Mm. That's probably the main thing that I got out of this. Yeah. Now all that being said, they're, they're losing a little bit of points because it wasn't very innovative, nothing crazy going on, but that's a really good burger. Uh, I'm gonna give that a 3.6. Um, that burger did a lot of things right. Um, it allowed me to find out that I was wrong, and Corey was allowed to call me out in this video. <laughs> um, I really think I love the double patty at Burger King. It like, all it makes the char grilled, char broiled, whatever they stand call it, out. stand out even more. Yeah. Obviously, because more will do that. Yeah. Uh, and that was just really nice. I I could have used like even more jalapenos. I yeah. think if you're if you're a Texas, I'd like an onion ring on there and some barbecue yeah. sauce. But well, I then, guess that's the that, rodeo. That's rodeo burger. So I guess I just prefer the rodeo. But that taste profile was great. Course, lot, yeah. The mustard on that was really good. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Overall, just a fantastic burger. I was actually I was gonna go three point seven five. Yeah. For that. Yeah. I'm really happy we got that. I'm glad you saw that on the menu. And I got to make up this whole backstory yeah. that my dad had it. And I thought my 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 eleventh sense okay. out of my twelve went off and went because you said, no nah, no no that's a regular item. I went ding 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 like spider, spider sense, sense kind yeah. of. And I was like, no nah, he's he, he, he's wrong. That's not a regular item. I gotta keep pushing this. We gotta come back. And it took me like three months to convince him to let me finally do this. So finally, after two and a half years of hard work. <laughs> I finally reached my life's goal. Oh man. That's my, you know, that's my holy grail. Oh wow. That's my holy grail. It's too bad it was only a 3.6 for a holy There's grail. Also, you would think a holy grail would be a five. It's but, a bummer know. that the holy grail is just a fast food item at Burger King. And the holy grail is leading to more I opportunities know. for you. Yeah, uh, we'll true. be here again tomorrow with a brand new video as we always do every weekday. Uh, once again, let us know if you had any idea that that item existed. If you've had it, uh, looking forward to read those comments and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.